An exercise that's a good complement to a regular crunch, although it can be not good for some people, especially people with tight hip flexors, you need to be careful with this, your hip flexors may take over too much and you may lose the benefit. What I really want you to focus on is the rectus abdominis that runs between the bottom of your rib cage and your pelvis, thing that allows you to crunch, okay? What we're gonna do is something called a reverse crunch, where instead of coming up from the top, I'm coming up from the bottom. I really want you to be deliberate about thinking about these muscles, the rectus abdominis, and feeling them squeeze, okay? Because your hip flexors are gonna be working on this naturally, you can't stop it. Your hip flexors run from either the top of your pelvis, that's one of them, and another one runs from your spine, crosses your, your hip joint, and attaches on kind of the inside of your, your leg, your upper leg and you can't stop them from working. Uh, one of the reasons I try to avoid leg raises is these are really hip flexor dominant, but when I have my knees bent like this, I can get more abs out of it, okay? So, what you're gonna do here, put your palms up so that you're not pushing yourself up, and just pull your knees back to your chest as far as you can for a second, and even raise yourself up just a little bit if it doesn't hurt your neck, okay? So back and down. Hold it. My heels just touch the ground. Come back up. Hold it at the top. Breathing out and holding it at the top, okay? Feel that crunch on the abs. It's a good way of trying to target more the lower abdominals and the upper abdominals, which is kind of a lie because you can't isolate one entirely from the other. But when you're moving the lower legs, you're, you're going to get a little more engagement with the lower abs, okay? So again, if you have back problems, for tight hip flexors, this may not be a good exercise for you. You need to feel those abs working. Uh, if you find it's not working for you, you don't really feel them working, talk to your trainer and they'll find a good substitute for you.